in this video, uh, I'm going to show you uh, the trig ratios of 30 degree and 60 degree. So what do I mean by that? On your calculator, if you have an electron calculator, and if the calculator is set in degrees, if you type in sine 30, you'll get 0.5, which is half. So I'll show you on a calculator. How does it look? So the first thing that you do is, this is my graphic calculator, but um, before you always need to check your setting. There are three types of angles, degrees, radians, and gradients, okay? So I'm not going to detail. So we are talking in degrees, so you, it has to be set in degrees first. So I've set in degrees, then I can exit. So this is what I mean. So if you type in sine 30, the calculator gives you that is 0 0.5, which is half. If you type in cos 60, that will also give you 0.5. So I want to explain how the calculator works. Okay, now if you type in sine, say 60, it will be 0.86 something something, okay, which is root 3 over 2. I'll explain that. And if you type in cos 30, that's again the same thing. I want you to think about what's the relation between 30 and 60, okay, before I explain, okay. So this is what I wrote. So sine 30 is 0.5, cos 60 is also 0.5, which is half. Sine 60 is 0.8666. And if you want to, this is same as root 3 over 2. Let me show you that. Okay, so this is menu. So I told you uh, root 3 over 2 would be 0.866. This is root 3, square root of 3 divided by 2 is 0.8666 okay so i want to explain how these ratios uh work okay so let me go back now this is i've drawn a right angle triangle with 30 and 60 so this is 30 60 90 triangle okay now if this is a 30 60 90 triangle and uh, suppose this is the angle we are talking about okay so let us talk only about 30, uh, 60 now okay so let me don't look at this now we are only concentrating on this angle 30 degree okay so so i'm going to draw uh okay let me remove that this, this doesn't matter we need it okay so i'm going to uh, uh extend this Okay, so I'm going to draw a ray, say. Okay, so I'm going to draw a ray from here. And suppose this is a ray. Uh, and let me okay, place it exactly over that. Okay, so this is triangle ABC, which is a right angle. So I want to take a point D such that, suppose this is say, whatever that length is AB, I want to plot D somewhere here, and I'm going to say, well, let, this is almost, it's not drawn to scale, I'm going to say that these two, can I draw it better, I should think it should be closer, okay, so if this is from here to here AB, from B to D, say roughly it comes here. So I'm saying that AB is equal to BD. In other words, you can consider this point as a reflection of A. So let me name that as A dash so that you understand reflection. So this is A prime or A dash. I call this A dash. <coughs> uh, so A prime is the reflection of A. Or you can understand this line BC is the mirror line and A and A dash are reflection of each other. Now, if I join, if I join A dash with C, I'm getting, I want you to think now, what's happening now? So, this is 90 degree, so I hope you understand this will also be 90, because angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees. So, this is 90, this is 90. Now, I told you, that A dash or A prime is the reflection of A. So if this is 60 degree, how much is this degree? 
this is 60 degree okay so if this is if this is 90 and this is 60 how much would this angle be this angle would be 30 degree does it make sense okay so this is again a 60 90 60 uh, 30 60 90 30 60 90 triangle okay so so let us consider now say this as the hypotenuse as one okay just for convenience i'm considering this as one so if this is one you can consider anything okay so let me consider that as x okay you may wonder why why suppose if this is x or let me take it as a okay suppose this is a if ac is a can you understand a dash c would also be a because now they are similar triangles okay so yeah uh, what is that you can see now i want you to look at this triangle so i'll i want you to uh, look at i'll diff i use a different color now to suppose i'll use this and say a darker color red and no, red so let me take blue so i'm going to i want you to look at this triangle this whole triangle what type of triangle is this blue triangle just have a look at this and tell me think about it i'm talking about this blue triangle so what type of triangle is this ignore this you are looking at triangle a a dash c so what type of triangle is a a dash c so a a dash c this is 60 this is 60 can you see this whole angle this if you look at this whole angle this whole angle is also 30 and 30 60 degrees so it's an equilateral triangle is an equi angular triangle is equilateral triangle so you can say this is an equilateral triangle okay so if this is an equilateral triangle if this is a this is a this whole thing a a dash would also be a does it make sense this whole therefore i can say a a dash is equal to a now b can you see is the midpoint of can i write b is the midpoint is the midpoint of a a dash so if b is the midpoint and if a a dash is a can you understand this will be a over 2 and this would also be a over 2 okay now so now let us figure out what is bc so in triangle abc angle abc is a right angle so we can use pythagoras so using pythagoras using pythagoras can i say bc squared this side squared is a squared minus a over 2 squared okay so i can say bc squared is a squared minus squaring this will be a squared over 4 this is 1 a squared take away so i'll write bc squared is 3 over 4 a squared okay because this is 1 a squared take away <coughs> a quarter a squared will 3 quarter so if you now take the square root of both sides so i hope you understand bc is square root of 3 over 4 a squared you can't you can find the square root of 4 you can find the square root of a so this is square root of 3 over 2 a just like that so bc is you can't exactly find the square root of 3 so I'll remember square root of 3 square root of 4 becomes 2 and square root of a squared becomes a so we are almost there 
sorry not a squared a only so bc now becomes square root of 3 over 2a so this is square root of 3 over 2a okay now i want you to look at this triangle abc okay consider this triangle we are coming back to the original triangle okay so let me remove the other bits okay we don't know, need this now i want you to focus only on triangle abc so we are talking about this blue, this brown triangle okay so for 30 degree so we saw that this is a by 2 this is square root of 3 over 2 a and this is a okay so let me do the working here as far as possible so sine 30 is opposite over hypotenuse you know that so for 30 what's the opposite the opposite is a over 2 divided by a okay so a over 2 divided by a would be a over 2a so you can say sine 30 is half so sine 30 is half and this is a very important result that in any right angle triangle in any right angle triangle you can do that if the side opposite to the angle measuring 30 is always half the hypotenuse that's a very powerful result you can use in many places okay that the side opposite to the angle measuring 30 in a right angle triangle is always half the hypotenuse and that is what it means sine 30 is half that is the opposite side of a 30 degree angle in a right angle triangle would be half the hypotenuse okay if you now do sine 60 if you look at sine 60 uh, okay now let me look at cos 30 okay that'll be easier okay so let me take cos 60 okay cos 60 cos of 60 degrees this is the adjacent side a b becomes the adjacent side and b c becomes the opposite side so sine 30 sorry cos 60 is again a over 2 divided by a that is same as half and that's why sine 30 is equal to cos 60 sine 30 is equal to cos 60 i'll continue this in the next video